It's been a couple months since Disney shared the first teaser trailer for Frozen 2, and in that time, we just haven't been able to let it go. Many people noticed the darker tone set by the teaser. That got us thinking that the new tone could reflect the change in the personalities of all of our favorite Frozen characters. In the time since 2013's Frozen entered our lives, Elsa, Anna, Kristoff, Olaf, and even Sven have grown and matured just like we have. And those changes will help drive the story of Frozen 2. In this video, we're talking about all the ways those characters may have changed between Frozen and its upcoming sequel. We'll dive into each character's journey so far and where they might be headed when Frozen 2 finally hits theaters in November. Frozen was an Oscar-winning smash with songs that we're still trying to get out of our heads. And it's those songs that help bring the personalities of the movie's princesses Anna and Elsa of Arendelle to life. Towards the beginning of the film, the song Do You Wanna Build a Snowman gave us an overview of the girls' relationship. The song took us all the way from when they were children to young adulthood. As kids, the pair played together. After an accident where Elsa hurt Anna with her icy powers though, Elsa shut herself off from her sister. The ordeal of their childhoods left Elsa uncertain and ashamed of herself and her powers. She lacked control over her abilities and was terrified someone would find out about them. Elsa had the more reserved personality from the beginning. However, having to conceal her powers left Elsa emotionally cut off, even from Anna, the person she loved most. Anna was more open and outgoing than her sister. Yet the years of estrangement and lack of other social outlets left Anna longing for camaraderie. Her lack of experience with the world and strong desire for companionship led her to quickly fall for the nefarious Prince Hans. Through it all though, she never resented her sister. The trolls erased Anna's memory of Elsa hurting her and of all magic. This left Anna's positive memories of her close childhood relationship with Elsa. So while she had no idea why Elsa had stopped playing with her, she maintained a childlike belief in her sister's basic goodness. When Elsa's worst nightmare came true, and her powers were discovered at her coronation as queen, Elsa ran away, and Anna followed. The rest of the movie saw the pair grow in different ways. By leaving Arendelle, Elsa no longer had to conceal part of who she was. Instead, she could explore her powers, the part of herself she was most afraid of. Meanwhile, Anna met new friends, her love interest Kristoff, his reindeer Sven, and the snowman Olaf in her quest to bring Elsa home. These experiences helped her learn about different kinds of love and relationships. This all led to both sisters maturing and coming into their own by the end of the story. Anna makes the ultimate sacrifice to save her sister, an act of true love that had nothing to do with romance. Meanwhile, that sacrifice led Elsa to realize that love was the key to controlling her powers. Based on what we know from the Frozen 2 teaser, it looks like the sequel will continue the character evolution of Anna and Elsa. Jennifer Lee, the writer and co-director of both films, said that the sequel wasn't originally a consideration. However, when Lee and co-director Chris Buck had a discussion that pointed to important, unexplored territory, well, Frozen 2 became a possibility. Lee went on to explain that she wrote Frozen 2 from the inside out. In other words, she started with the characters in their development, and the story flowed from there. In fact, Lee even kept journals as Anna and Elsa. This let her learn about their vulnerabilities and helped her find their voices. Kristen Bell, the voice of Anna, said that Lee also spoke to her about her character's continued growth in the sequel. According to Bell, she had a conversation with Lee where they discussed what Anna's next steps as a character should be. They also spoke about what Belle herself was going through that could speak to Anna's journey. To get to know Anna and Elsa even better, Lee consulted a psychologist. This led to new revelations about each character. She also learned how easily she could distinguish the characters and their issues from one another. Lee's willingness to go deep with her character seems like it will make all the difference in Frozen 2. In fact, co-songwriter Kristen Anderson Lopez said that in the sequel, we go a lot deeper into Anna and Elsa's heads. We see hints of that in the teaser trailer. The clip started with Elsa attempting to use her powers to cross an ocean. Her face is determined, and she seems far more sure of herself than she did in Frozen. Yet, she still doesn't appear to have complete control as she quickly wipes out an attempt after attempt. The clip also gives us a far more serious looking Anna. 
We first see her running to her balcony to see floating crystals suspended all around her. She looks alarmed at the sight. At another point, we see her alone and taking a precarious jump off a high cliff and looking as determined as her sister. Anna's more serious and brave demeanor is showcased in the most exciting and head-scratching moment in the trailer. At the very end, someone or something approaches Anna, Elsa, and Kristoff from behind. When Anna notices, she grabs Kristoff's sword and swings. This is something we can't imagine her doing in the first movie. Now though, to defend her loved ones, Anna will do whatever it takes. It's also good to see Anna and Elsa joined by Kristoff, Sven, and Olaf in the trailer. It seems that the five characters have created a tight family unit of their own. That means whatever's going on in Frozen 2, they're in it together. Although that also means they're all looking very grave about whatever it is. The trailer also shows off new hair and clothing styles for Anna and Elsa. One argument for the changes could simply be merchandising. After all, new looks means new Frozen dolls, but maybe the new looks have a deeper meaning in the film. In particular, fans have noted that Anna is sporting a new half up, half down hairdo, while Elsa is wearing a new ice blue outfit. Anna's hairstyle could signify her growth from the first film. She wore her braided pigtails in Frozen, so her new look is much more mature. Also, Elsa's outfit is a lot less formal than the regal gown she donned in the first movie. This could be a matter of practicality. If the sisters are going on an adventure, a gown doesn't make a whole lot of sense. However, it could also symbolize Elsa's continued growth as a character and a sorceress. Perhaps the less formal clothes show that she's becoming increasingly comfortable in her own skin. As a result, she doesn't need formal clothes to distract from who she is. While Olaf and Kristoff are secondary characters in the film, there are key scenes in the teaser that show glimpses of the two of them as well. The first most noteworthy thing about Olaf is that the snow cloud that kept him from turning into a puddle is no longer over his head. How is he still alive? Also, there's a scene where Elsa seems to be using her magic to defend him against a pink mist. Should we be worried? Olaf was mostly the innocent comic relief in Frozen. It looks like he's learned a thing or two about the world since then and won't be quite as naive or funny in Frozen 2. Kristoff may be on a similar trajectory. His relationship with Anna has lasted since Frozen, so unlike in that movie, he's no longer a reluctant recruit in Anna and Elsa's plans. Instead, he's an equal participant and prepared to help in any way he can. Perhaps that's why in one scene we see him leading a herd of reindeer while riding his pal Sven. His expression is incredibly intense, something we've never seen from the character before. We have no idea what he's doing, but whatever it is, it seems really important. It looks like Kristoff's commitment to Anna and her sister have caused him to evolve from the goof we got to know in Frozen. One of the biggest reveals from the teaser is quick shots of two new characters, a girl with auburn hair and a blonde boy. A lot of speculation has surrounded just who these characters could be, especially the girl. The most intriguing thing is that the girl appears to have powers. It looks like she can control the wind and perhaps the leaves as well. So maybe she has powers over the elements of fall just like Elsa has powers over the elements of winter. Many fans have theorized that the girl could be Elsa's girlfriend. Ever since Frozen hit theaters, fans have hoped that Elsa will eventually get a love interest of her own and that that love interest will be female. Like many fans, we're totally on board for the idea, and it seems like writer-director Lee would be too. She said that she loves that Frozen created dialogue, but she stopped short of confirming anything. Similarly, the voice of Elsa, Adina Menzel, said that she thought it was a great idea, but she wouldn't promise anything. Still, the character looks like a child, not a woman who Elsa could start a relationship with. That doesn't rule out the possibility of Elsa finding a girlfriend in the story, but it may mean it won't be this character. Still, if Elsa does come out as a lesbian in Frozen 2, that could be quite a character arc in and of itself. If the girl isn't Elsa's girlfriend, there's another possibility. 
Given the similarity of their powers, they could share a familial connection. Maybe this is our first look at Anna and Kristoff's daughter. If this is the couple's daughter, it could be one reason the two characters look so serious. We saw from the king and queen's interactions with a young Elsa that having a superpowered child is challenging. Could Kristoff and Anna be encountering similar difficulties? Another, perhaps even more intriguing possibility is that the girl and the boy are Anna and Elsa's parents. This could be a flashback to the king and queen of Arendelle's first meeting when they were children. If this theory is correct, and the girl is Anna and Elsa's mother, we might learn in Frozen 2 that Elsa inherited her powers. The few details and hints that we have about the film suggest there could be something to this idea. Songwriter Kristen Anderson Lopez has already dropped the hint that we'll know Anna and Elsa's parents a lot better after watching Frozen 2. Also, rumors have circulated that the plot of Frozen 2 will center on the sisters' search for what really happened to their parents. In Frozen, Anna and Elsa's parents supposedly perished when there was a shipwreck at sea. Maybe their search for answers uncovers more than they bargained for. Elsa suppressed her powers based on her parents' instruction. This is why she never learned to use them properly. Perhaps exploring what happened to their parents could cause both sisters to face the pain of their pasts. This could even help them move on and become closer. There's also evidence that the catalyst for the film's story could come from the rock trolls we saw in Frozen. At a presentation for Disney's upcoming streaming service, Disney Plus, a new clip of the movie was shared. During the clip, a troll declares in voiceover, you must find the truth. It's hard to say for sure what that means. Given the fountain of wisdom the trolls were in the first film though, they may be urging Elsa to find the truth behind her powers. Perhaps without the truth, she will never fully master them and therefore herself. Another possibility this brings up is that the truth the trolls are speaking of is that Anna also has powers. Fans have speculated since Frozen that Anna could be powered like her sister. Instead of powers of ice and snow though, Anna's powers would be based in summer and fire would be her element. Since the trolls removed all magic from Anna, including any memory of it when she was a child, she might not know that she has powers. After suppressing her abilities all those years ago, the trolls could be trying to direct Anna back to what she lost. That would be a major revelation for both Anna and Elsa that could fundamentally change their relationship. Maybe the truth the troll speaks of has something to do with the other piece of the clip that was unveiled during the Disney Plus event. In it, Anna is seen kneeling before Olaf as he confesses, I don't think Elsa's okay. Is Olaf right? Will we find Elsa struggling during Frozen 2? Maybe that leads her to go to the trolls for advice. Or maybe their advice to find the truth disturbs her and causes her to struggle as Olaf observes. Interestingly, co-director Chris Buck has said that Frozen 2 would bring out more of Elsa's fun side. Elsa learned how to open up and be more secure with who she is in Frozen. Buck's comments suggest that with that evolution has come a lighter personality for Elsa. Olaf's concern that Elsa's suffering could mean the writers ultimately decided to go in a different direction. Although we've seen so little of the movie so far, Elsa could show her lighter, funnier personality more than we realize. One way or another, signs point to a daunting journey for Anna, Elsa, and the rest in Frozen 2. Lee recently announced that Disney Plus would include a docu-series about the making of Frozen 2, called Into the Unknown. She also teased that the title might be a reference to one of the movie's songs. If Anna and Elsa really are going into the unknown, their characters are likely to evolve even more throughout the new film. We'll know for sure when Frozen 2 comes out on November 22nd. What characters are you most excited to catch up with in Frozen 2? Do you have any additional theories about how your favorites have changed between Frozen and its sequel? Share your thoughts and opinions in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. Thanks for watching.